I'm Amanda, a single, child-free, 44-year-old cat and dog lady living in Seattle, navigating life post-cancer, and I'm just trying to figure out what is next for me, and honestly, how I want my life to look moving forward. If this interests you, stick around. So today, I am going up to Washington, D.C. and doing a little tourist day. I don't have a lot of time, but I figured I'd just go walk around the National Mall and see some of the historical things and just spend the day up there. It's a little fit check. Believe it or not, it's still pretty muggy here, so I... I'm wearing this cute striped little vest. I need to get new shoes, but it will work. I was recently back east in Maryland for a work trip and I took the day to head up to Washington DC since I had never been there before and do a short solo walking tour, which honestly completely reinvigorated something inside of me. The whole trip altogether, I was just feeling pretty off, but on the last day I took the metro up to the city and I just slowly found myself finding an old familiar part of myself that I honestly hadn't felt in a really long time. And despite it being really hot and not dressing really appropriately for the muggy heat, I felt so satisfied when I got back on the metro to head back to Maryland and it reminded me that I need to carve out more time for adventure, whether it's traveling or just figuring out something adventurous to do in my own backyard. I didn't really have any interest in coming to Washington DC before this. And I have to say that I am so glad I came. Sorry, it's really noisy because there's a lot going on and it's very sunny and I forgot my sunglasses. But I can't even begin to tell you how unbelievably cool this is. I used to travel a lot in my 20s and 30s and it just felt really nice to be back out there walking around a brand new city all by myself. It was almost like I was just meeting an old friend again. So I'm going to sit down and figure out how I can do a bit more of that. I just needed to find a little place to sit down and rest my weary feet because I think I have walked almost 15,000 steps. This trip I'm just seeing the monuments when I come back from my last trip where I'm pulling everything together for the house. I'm going to come back and do some of the museums because I just don't have the energy or the time. I'm heading back to Seattle tomorrow, so very impressive. I am not one, like I said, that ever really had a lot of interest in coming to Washington, D.C., and I'm so glad that I have, and the little bit that I've seen is, is incredibly impressive. I'd love to get into the museums more and really dive into more of the history, but I saw the Washington Monument, the Lincoln Memorial, the Vietnam Memorial, the Korean War Memorial, and I know I saw the White House. <laughs> and I just would like to spend more time here and, and go a little bit deeper. But this is just my introductory trek. <laughs> and I'm so tired. This whole trip I've just been very, very tired. So I'm gonna just, I don't think I'm gonna make it down to the Capitol. I don't know that I have the bandwidth to do that today, but I am sitting out front of the uh, the Smithsonian Information Center, which is a giant castle, but it's closed. Just getting out of the sun because it's a lot hot, hotter than I thought it was going to be today, and I'm wearing black jeans. Uh, I've just been like a sweaty mess, and I'm wearing a sweater, but or a sweater vest. So I'm looking forward to getting back and taking a shower and getting packed up and ready to head home tomorrow. Believe it or not, I almost didn't come up to the city and I am so glad that I listened to that little ping in my gut. I think moving forward, I'm going to do a lot more of that because it seems to be leading me back to myself. A 
feel really discombobulated right now because I am now back in Seattle. I left Maryland or Washington DC at 8 a.m. and I got back in Seattle at 11 a.m. and I, I don't even know my name anymore. <laughs> I'm like, oh. just like adjusting going back east was hard and now I'm back in Seattle and you know that's gonna be hard so I came in and I saw my baby boys and that was amazing. I miss them so much. I, had, I was so homesick this time which was so interesting to me. I think there's many factors happening. There's a lot going on in the world that I have been like super hyper fixated on with TikTok. Whether it's the P. Diddy stuff, the floods and the hurricane, and then the floods in Asheville and the surrounding areas. There's what's going on in Lebanon. Uh, then this viral TikTok of this woman who found a rolled up rug in her yard and she gained like 2 million new TikTok followers basically within 40, 48 hours. And I think I just need a break from social media, but I can't seem to disconnect from it. But <laughs> look at this guy. You glad your mama's home. You glad your mommy's home. Yeah, look at that belly. Ow! Oh, are you glad your mommy's home? Yeah, you big oofa loofa. A big goober. But for the rest of the day, I don't know. Waiting for you to finish. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> for the rest of the day, I'm gonna clean because I walked into a pretty stinky home, which happens from having, which happens from having two pets and not really being able to open the windows a whole lot. So I'm just gonna clean and get unpacked and take a bath and then probably go to bed at dun 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 then take a bath and probably go to bed at like 6 p.m. I've been up since, I think I woke up at 3.45. Clearly I'm still on East Coast time. And I have already gone over and picked up a free piece of furniture that I saw on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> and I've had my coffee, and now I'm just kind of putzing around my house, doing some things. And I really feel like I'm getting back into or I really feel like I'm coming out of whatever. Gosh, I was in such a funk for September. Here, I'm gonna put this down for a second. But I feel like I'm coming out of it and I feel inspired again to start working on some home projects. So, today's Saturday and I will go back out in my shop and work tomorrow. So today, I'm just gonna putz around and, and kind of take some notes on what I wanna do. But I definitely feel like I'm ready to work on replacing these tiles. Awesome. <laughs> these are, so glad I put these down. But I wanna finish my pantry and I don't know if I'll finish it today, but just start really thinking more about it. Sorry, I'm so quiet. I know I'm so quiet right now, but it's early. But I'm just gonna work on finishing cleaning and getting organized right now. So 
it is heater season, which means there's going to be a lot of weird background noise again. I am clearly not doing carnivore anymore. I have to pull this out to plug it in because <laughs> the plug is so far away. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not doing carnivore anymore, and I thought I would just tell you how I am feeling. Overall, I feel okay. Definitely have more joint pain, um, and I definitely notice more bags under my eyes that I've started incorporating grains again, and a lot more carbohydrates. But I did not feel that carnivore was sustainable whatsoever. I felt so bored on it after the initial high of like feeling good. I just felt myself getting more and more depressed being on it because I love eating, I love good food, I love cooking. And so I'm now trying to weigh the pros and cons of not eating that way and still playing around with different ways to help with my joint pain so if you have suggestions or you've done anything while maintaining a relatively normal gluten-free um, higher protein diet let me know in the comments it was also really expensive maybe maybe it's not you know any more expensive than how i eat now but it felt like pretty expensive been off of that I'm gonna go grocery shopping and then come back and continue just cleaning and getting getting ready for the week ahead but i feel like cooking so i'm going to i found a uh, homemade hamburger helper recipe that looks really good i'll probably tweak it a little bit to make it healthier and then serve it with a side of something like broccoli or something but i'm gonna make that i also have been on a dense bean salad kick it's going all over social media right now there's so many different versions of it and i'm gonna make a flank steak one um, and it's something that you can just have on hand all week long and you just it just gets better and better as the week goes by because of the dressing you don't actually have lettuce or anything there so every ingredient that's in there just absorbs the dressing i'm gonna make another fire cider i have probably another two weeks before i can open this one if i want to that would be the earliest i would love for it to sit for two months but i just have a feeling that this is going to be a pretty nasty cold and flu season so i might open it earlier but this next batch i'm going to make i want to just keep making them so i can just replace one when i'm out and they're so expensive at the store so i'm going to make that today too This for my niece's birthday um, back in March and it says karma is a cat purring in my lap because it loves me it's one of Taylor Swift songs this was a little bit of an expensive grocery shop because I'm out of toothpaste and a lot of other little things but I've been wanting to try this hand soap forever and it's lavender and it smells so good. It's like a French lavender. That's what it is. I grew a bunch of slicing tomatoes this summer and ended up giving some to my mom's friends. They told me that they were some of the best tomatoes. Actually, here's a few. A few left over. So I'm so excited to grow those next year. I, will, I have to admit, the plant itself was a start that my sister-in-law's dad grew. But I mean, I took care of the tomatoes. And then, I love having fresh herbs in my garden. They smell so good. 
One of the things I love about making my own fire cider is it's just so quick and easy to make. The downside is it has to marinate for a while. Um, I'd say the minimum amount of time is a month and then it can be up to however long. But it's so easy to do. And basically I'm making, I don't even know how much this is, three pints worth. So I just start layering. So I put thyme and rosemary in here. And then I'm gonna add some peppercorn. No particular amount really. I just kind of do what I think is right, <laughs> amount wise. And then some cinnamon sticks. Two. So I wanna use what I have first, but I have these for a while, so I don't know how good they are anymore. Yeah, I don't think these are very good. So I've had this lemon for a while. I'm gonna use that. And I wash it really good because I'm using, I'm using the whole thing. Should have done oranges, but I'll have to do that in the next batch. So, so far, let's see. I'm gonna do a jalapeno. Okay, this is a little bit short. I did forget a few things after thinking about it. I usually put a lime in there. I didn't get any kind of pomegranate seeds or cranberries, which is totally fine. But it, this one's just gonna be shorter, or I should say not as full, and that's fine. The next one, I might do a few other things. But I'm gonna seal it up now, put the date on it, and then tuck it away in a dark cabinet. Here's the one I made last month. It's just, actually, we're gonna try it. Woo! It's got a kick. It tastes really good. It's very spicy. Probably gonna let it sit for maybe about two more weeks because I think I made it, I have to look back at my other YouTube video because I know I showed it in that. Maybe it was in either the, maybe the middle of September or the end of August. Um, if it was the end of August, I'll probably start consuming it now, but otherwise I'm gonna let it sit for two more weeks. I can't actually make this dense bean salad because I realized I forgot several things. I forgot 
uh, roasted red peppers and I forgot cherry tomatoes and an avocado which I don't put the avocado in it but I do cut a little bit up and top it off so I can make I can make what I have and then just add the rest tomorrow when I run back to the store and get those few things so now I am going to just I really need to clean up my desk and continue just straightening up things and my camera's gonna die in a minute so I'm gonna charge my battery and I'll be back in a little bit I'm actually just going to end the video there because it's already long and random, but here's a little peek into my next video. I'll be taking you through start to finish on one of my furniture flips and be incorporating more of these into the future. So thanks again for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, hit the thumbs up and leave a comment. See you next time.